on my mic? I don't know. Um, so today I'm going to do different beatboxing sounds and how to do it. I haven't posted a video in here in so long, in like a year. But I've been, I have a lot of, a lot more fun content to do. So let's get started. The first beatboxing sound that I want to do is called Stitch. I know other than the like school and stuff, I said Stitch because I can talk like this. Hello, Bob. Bob. How are you doing today? This is a two. How? I can say a lot more in Stitch, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Hopefully. So, uh, when we're talking about Stitch, what you want to do is, okay, what you want to do. What you're gonna wanna do, hold on, let me do it. Ha, uh, I'll stitch. So you're gonna try to talk like him. Try to talk like him. Ha, uh, I'm stitch. So how's it got this? So how's it got the voice and the mouth? But a good way to do it is by placing my tongue. Putting it like that and then, ha, oh, kind of like bending your face up. Like you're gonna bite down on your tongue, but do not bite down on your tongue. Like, ha, ah, and do that thing with your tongue at the same time. And also, like, try, like, try to talk. Alright, well, that's pretty good if you want to, like, sing a beatbox at some time. So, that's uh, very good, very, very, very good. What do you want me to do this? So for you an example, I'll try to show you an example. If I can. If I can. How? So that, so that was just a little thing, like, I'm not perfect at beatboxing yet, it's kind of, <coughs> <coughs> that was called an ongoing process that is very hard to learn, like, if you're wanting to learn it, you have to basically know how to move your tongue in different directions to make a sound, or you have to know how to do a high pitch and a low pitch. You have to know how you can like do different voices. I guess this is a starter, like a starter voice type of thing. Which is kind of easy, but also at the same time, it's also kind of hard. So that's how it can be kind of hard because it can be like too low pitch and then if you try to get a higher pitch it can be too high of a pitch like oh you want it in the middle like oh you want it right in the middle of that pitch you want it right in the middle of that pitch to get the stitch voice you all but you also want to kind of like to get like because if you saw it done like this, it'll get too deep. But, but if you try to do it like this, well, you kind of have more like a higher pitch in your voice. In your voice. If you have more a higher pitch, in, just a little bit more of a higher pitch in your voice, then you can do it. So like put a high pitch in your voice like when you talk. And then do the tongue thing that I told you to do. Your face should look like that and your tongue should look like that because of the motion that you're making it should do that so um that's how you do the stitch beatboxing sound there's a blue i can't really see it can you see it yeah i don't think you can but it's right there. 
kind of good. Yeah. Anyways. I'm going to show you how to... very simple. You're going to start saying the sound of the letter B. And then after you say the sound of the letter B, you're going to say the sound of the letter T. So you're going to go and you're going to go So ready? I'm going to do it all together. It, you can't have a high pitch or a low pitch. You have to do all of them. You have to get a middle pitch. You have to get a high pitch. You have to get a low pitch. You have to do all of them. That last one was kind of on the spur of it, but it doesn't matter. So, if you're trying to do this, make sure that you're not having a too high pitch, or too little pitch, or too low pitch. You got all of them when you're trying to do it. So, I'm going to go over all of the things that I showed you today. So, the first thing that we went over, well, that I taught you was the stitch voice. So, again, you're going to want to have your tongue like this. And then, also make a facial expression like a... But keep your tongue like that, and then try to talk. Try to talk in your regular voice, but keep that tongue motion going. Keep it in that, like, motion type of thing. And then keep your face in that expression. Like that. And then try to talk. Uh, so, I don't know how we're doing to that, but um, I'm doing pretty good as well as you. Hopefully. Well, yeah, that's what I have to say. Bye. As you have some like else. It's very hard to say Spanish words. Oh no, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I know. I'm weird. And then it's the. Which was the second thing that I taught you guys. It was very easy. So basically, you're just going to make the sound of the letter B. Wait, where is that? Right? B. Ba, 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 ba. So start saying the sound of the letter B. Ba, 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 ba. And then you're going to, after you say this one, like, so you're going to go, ba. And then you're going to go. And you know how they do like a fake whisper? You're going to do that at the end. So go. And when I go. I'm just making sound. Like that. Or go like. And make a sound. So all of that should have been very simple for you guys to learn. Hopefully you guys can comment if I need to go over any of that in some of my other videos or if that was good, like a documentary type of thing. But please tell me if it was good or bad and if you know how to make those sounds now. Anyways, the butto should have been really easy. But the stitch should have been kind of hard, like in the middle. That was really hard. It's really easy to learn. You just have to know how to make that sound. You have to watch the little ditch to know how to do it, okay? Because you have to know how to talk like boo stitch. You can also watch Carla HD and she talks like it. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have had a great time watching me teach you how to beatbox. Anyways. Thank you. Have a great night or day or morning, whatever, whatever time you're in. Thank you. Bye. Adios, amigos.